today's local and national news from Thailand via the fabulous Patia Media Group. And if you'd be kind enough to like and subscribe, here's a tip for you to get the very latest news from us every day. When you subscribe, click on the button that says All. And then every day you'll get an update straight from us. Monday saw Thailand enjoy a national holiday in the honour of Her Majesty the Queen, seeing celebrations and shows of respect in all regions by local and national dignitaries. Queen Sutida, married to the reigning monarch Rama Ten, was born in 1978 and became the Queen at the time of the coronation. Thailand's most wanted gangster who escaped jail in the south of Thailand, hid out in a forest, beat off a police sting raid before being caught, is expected to return in chains today in a chartered plane that will fly directly to the closest landing strip to the high security unit in Nakhon Si Tamarat. With no arrival time published by the police for obvious reasons, a high security cavalcade of vehicles will transport him from there as concern exists that those who helped him escape previously might make a second attempt. Claiming to be innocent and framed, the erstwhile local gangster Bigwig was sentenced for murder and racketeering before he escaped whilst in hospital claiming to have stomach pains. In Prachinbury, a husband and wife loan sharking duo came up with a novel way to ensure repayment from borrowers. In addition to copies of ID cards, they also gleaned details of their social media friends and insisted on naked photographs of borrowers at the time the cash was handed over. That then got them into hot water this week after one man with a 500 baht loan fell behind on his payments, was given a warning and then found out that the uncensored snaps were sent to his friends and family as a move to encourage him to cough up. Both were duly arrested and their homes searched, revealing loan records and numerous similar photographs of male and female borrowers. They've now been charged with illegal money lending, extorting with menaces and sharing the photographs, which is also illegal under the computer crimes law here. That at least may save the blushes of any others in arrears with them. Using his own motorbike with number plates as a getaway vehicle showed that a 22-year-old wannabe gold shop robber in Ratchaburi wasn't exactly a pro. It seems that shop staff noticed he was shaking and sweating profusely and as a result locked down their wares. Picking up on that, he grabbed what he could, a single one baht gold piece and fled. Tracked quickly after the botched robbery, police found him still clutching the single necklace that he stole. And on Phuket, when a local man fell out with his ex-wife and her family, following a DNA test on what he assumed was his child, he wasn't in the best of moods, so took his high-power slingshot and fired a glass marble at one of her family members who beeped her bike horn at him whilst in traffic. Only problem was he mistook a stranger for the family member. Not in any way related, a local beautician reported the assault to police, along with his van plate number. Duly arrested, there's no word on the test result on the child. Meanwhile at home, and raids this week on a handful of club-tight bars in Soi Kau Pai led to police finding them still in full swing in the early hours, way after licensing times. All operators have been charged with numerous crimes and warned that repeat offenders will see the properties not the operators banned from licensing for up to five years. That's happened in the past and it certainly will tick off landlords and likely see them clamp down on errant tenants. A post-mortem is being carried out this week on a foreigner found alone and beyond recovery on Pattaya Beach after being washed up in the tide. With no form of ID on his person, he was taken away by authorities. The Caucasian male is believed to have drowned. However, official reports will be released only after full examination is carried out. A 38-year-old Russian man fell from his Teprasit Road condo yesterday. Medics removed him from the scene as police found no sign of aggression in his rented room, but were told that he'd asked his landlord for a payment holiday as he was low on funds. Condo staff stated that he was drunk when last seen and had been involved in a claim by a massage shop employee of harassment, which had allegedly recently been resolved. His embassy was duly informed. An Idiot of the Week award goes to a local man who got his pal to film him whizzing through the underpass on the Sukhumvit at night, illegally on a motorbike, and doing a wheelie. The one-wheel ride was shared amongst friends, but one of them shared with others, and it went viral. He handed himself into police this week, and has been charged with driving without any license or insurance 
amongst other charges which include reckless driving. Word is that he was thrilled by the sound of his bike in the underpass. That bike has now been confiscated too. And with the Met Office promising highs today of around 33 degrees, dropping down to 27 at night, a mostly cloudy day with showers throughout and the real feel of perhaps 36. Local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme, like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below.